Hey guys, happy Sunday. So I made a promise to one of my server mates that I would do this game after we were discussing it not too long ago. And for those of you who like math, this will be a little bit up your alley. It is called... Funnels and Buckets. Now inherently it is an arithmetic test. You will be grilled on addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or a mix of all of the above. I'm going to go with all because that's just me. You can turn sound on and off. I'll keep it on for this one. And there's your speed settings. Well, relative anyway. I'm going to stick with slow and see how that goes in combination with a frame rate of one or a cycle rate of 132. The default's 3000, and this is a pretty old game, which means I really ought to slow that down, or I may have some serious trouble no matter what speed I try. So here's the deal. You pop the problems by typing the right answer. The more you pop, the higher your score, pretty standard. If Maggie, this character here, pops up during a correct answer, you will get 10 points in bonus. You will lose points if Burglar shows up to the tune of 20. At least I believe that's what the numbers are. So check this out. If you hit spacebar during any problem, you will get a math tutelage on the appropriate function. I think we can do to up the rate a bit. We'll do 405 and see what that does. Whoops. too slow. I'm playing on numpad. Whoops. And then you know what? I think the point loss might be 30. So you gain five points on addition, ten on subtraction. Whoops, wrong button. Division's worth twenty. That's five plus. Okay. So it doesn't look to me as though you gain the same amount of points on every bonus. You could wait for the burglar to disappear. Or you can suffer the point loss by getting it right and not having any other ill effects. Obviously a wrong answer, or taking too long 
we'll fill the bucket a little bit. Once all the buckets are filled to their three problem capacity, that is game. And as you saw earlier, you get a double loss if you screw it up while the burglar is active. Ah, mistype. This game is actually how I learned arithmetic in private school in first grade. It made me that much better come exam time, but I'm not exactly showing it here. I'm also entirely certain I was playing it at a far slower speed. I keep getting the wrong, the wrong, uh, operation in my head is my biggest problem. Honestly, I'll be happy if I just beat the high score that's there. I don't even know what that score is, I'll be honest. Whoops. He keeps coming up, I'm just going to keep suffering. There's not a lot I can do about that. Or maybe there is. I can just wait until the last possible moment. Ugh, keep seeing that minus sign. Starting to get there. Uh, I only just noticed I don't have chat at the forefront. And that'll buy me the time to bring that up. think about that one. Can I make it to 
2000. Yep. Wrong type. Plus. Well, I've kept one bucket quite nicely protected. Backwards. See, half the battle is typing it correctly, too. It's one of those things, like, if you're doing this in school, the more you do it, not only is it going to make you that much quicker at the game, but imagine how much faster it'll be to rattle off answers when you don't have to put up with that second step of typing it. At least I'm pretty convinced that's how I figured it out. I wonder if the older kids at the time actually competed with this. Would have been one hell of an educational concept. Let's see if I can get to 3,000 and then I'll cut it. Too late. You are able to backspace, but remember that takes time. So do it quick. Hmm. Why don't we go balls to the wall here? Oh, really? It took it at the fastest speed? Let's raise the fr the cycle rate to 650. See how good I am at this now. Oh lord, it's definitely faster. And this is being severely out of practice. I don't know what it is with me, like, this arcade style of entertainment that we have going here. It's 
like, I see it, but by the time I do, it's too late. I almost typed seven. Trying to see. Okay, I think I see the trend now. When the burglar hits, if you get it right, the point loss, you would just lose however many points you would have gained on a right answer. And the bonus for Maggie triples the correct answer value. So pay attention to the score as you go through this. At base, you gain 5 for addition, 10 for subtraction, 15 for multiplication, 20 for division. Now if you screw it up with the burglar active, it's a double loss. So you lose 10 for, you would lose 10 for addition, for example, and so on. Miss with a bonus active and, whoops, and you just don't get it. By the way, yes, I am playing this as I'm talking. This is a true multitask in case anybody's curious, like if I'm really focusing this way. Yes, I am. Although every once in a while I'll have a little glitch in the works, like that. Most of the wrong answers you've seen me make so far have been the result of a misread. Like I'm reading the wrong sign, doing the wrong operation, stuff like that. Other times, like in the second bucket, 18 divided by 2, that time I moved the wrong finger up. It's like, I know why I'm getting some of these wrong. That's all good. I'm not necessarily going for a super high score. Just one of those little, uh, little memory, edutainment, nostalgia demo kind of deals. Although, incidentally, with everything I've gotten wrong here, I think I've pretty well showcased all the different scoring variations throughout the game. The point loss, the bonuses, the double loss, what happens if you screw up with either active. All in all, I think I've done pretty much what I need to do here. I think I'll just get to 2,000 and then surrender. There isn't a lot more to this, but basically if this kind of game interests you, check it out. Again, Funnels and Buckets for DOS, 1984. And that's enough. Oh, you know what? I think we'll go one more because I think there's another little ditty for if you don't beat the high score and if you lose within. So let's take the frame rate back up to 3000, the default, just to demonstrate why I changed the frame rate to begin with. Check this. Oh, it doesn't matter. Never mind, I was mistaken, I thought. Oh uh, no, you know what? The funnel's certainly dropping them quick. You see, 
see how fast it's moving? Let's just get there. Huh. I thought I had over 3,000. Did I stop short? I guess I did. Oh well, so be it. So this has been Funnels and Buckets. Hope, uh, hope that gave you your little math bit for the day. And until next stream, have an alpha night.